Hi, today we're going to take a look at how to adjust the tension on our tabletop roll laminator. For the purposes of this demonstration, at Laminatex we are using a DNK Laminex G2 laminator. It's a very simple machine to use and in its simplicity it yields high reliability. For the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to remove the feed table so that you could see how the film passes over the heat shoes. Film tension on a roll laminator is adjusted on this model and many models like it by means of knobs on the side of the machine. We have one up at the top that adjusts the tension on the upper supply roll of film and a knob on the bottom that will take care of the lower supply roll of film. Now film on a laminator can be drum tight or it could be so lax that there's virtually no tension on the film at all. When the film is quite loose passing over the heat shoes, it has a tendency to wrinkle. Wrinkles going into the nip rollers may very well manifest itself in wrinkles in your finished laminate. So we want to reduce the, the wrinkles passing over the heat shoes just to the extent that they disappear. Okay? That is done by adjusting these two knobs on the side of the machine. By taking a look at the upper knob, you can see that there's a small spring here. By turning the knob to the rear of the machine, or clockwise as I face it, we begin to compress the spring. In so doing, that applies tension to the film, and that's what prevents the wrinkles from occurring. Let's take a look at what the machine will look like when the film passes over with no tension on the film at all. You will see that the film begins to wrinkle both the upper and the lower heat shoes. To, remove, to eliminate those wrinkles, you simply turn the knobs to the rear of the machine until the film tension disappears. And that is all. There are two rules to adjusting your film tension. The first is use as little tension as possible. Using excessive tension just adds to the wear and tear of the machine and is completely unnecessary. The second rule of thumb is that the tension on the top roll must be equal to the tension on the bottom roll. If by some chance the film is adjusted where you have significantly more tension on the top roll of film than the bottom roll of film, your posters or laminating items are going to come out with curl, much like this example that you see here in this newsprint. This newsprint piece was laminated this way into the machine. And because we had far more tension on the top than the bottom, we begin to see a curl toward the top. Okay. How do we adjust for this? Well, this can easily be adjusted by releasing or removing tension on the top shoe. Here we have far more tension on the top than the bottom, and since rule number one says use as little as possible, we're going to eliminate or reduce the amount of tension we have on the top roll of film. Another way of eliminating this wrinkle is to apply more tension to the bottom, but again that flies in the face of rule number one and is only going to yield more uh, wear and tear on the machine. So, in order to avoid this type of a situation, we're going to equalize the tension simply by relieving tension on the top of the roll. Okay? Once that is done, you're all set. Now, there's no way to really judge this until you actually run a sample piece through. So, good practice in any laminating job, especially if you have many pieces to do, would be to send a scrapped piece of paper through the laminator first, take it out the back, trim it down, and make sure that it lays flat on your table. If you find that it has curl, simply make your adjustments and go from there. Give this a try. If you have any questions, give us a call at Lamatex 203-735-1787, and thanks for watching today.